What's up, fam? It's your boy, Brad Starks, coming to you from the Roto Lounge. Thanks for joining me. I'm glad to be here, ready to taste some whiskey for y'all. And I'm excited tonight. I have one of my favorites. I picked up a bottle today. It is the Larceny Barrel Proof B521. And again, I'm telling you, I love this bourbon whiskey, and I'll show you why. I got a bottle here. This is A120. And I got a bottle here. This is A121. So I missed, I missed B520, which according to this little sticker, the whiskey of the year, the whiskey of the year by Whiskey Advocate was last year's B520. Larceny Barrel Proof, man. This is probably one of the best budgeted bourbons. This thing goes for about 50 bucks. And the, the A121 I had this year was probably one of the, the best bourbons I've ever had at $50. So when I got the first A120, really loved this bourbon. It reminded me of like candy bars, um, some caramel. It came in at 123.2 proof. It was pretty hot. Then this bad boy, the A121 at 114.8 proof. On this, I got like on the nose, I got custard. And then on the mouth, I got like, it was so creamy, like a cream corn. Oh, it was so good. One of the best bourbons I've ever had. A weeded bourbon. This is Pappy Van Winkles are weeded bourbons. The Buffalo Trace Weller brand are all weeded bourbons. Larceny, Old Fitzgerald, those are weeded bourbons. And this is the barrel proof, straight from the barrel. And I got this year's, and I'm going to pop it for you right now live. It's B521 coming in at 121 proof. So a little less than A120, a little higher than A121. It's the B520. And I'm going to open this for you tonight, and we're going to try it. Because that's what we do in the Roto Lounge. Now, if you notice on the Larceny, the logo is like a key... And larceny means like theft of personal property. So I'll tell you where they got this name from. Let's let's get this pop for you. Ooh, nice. Hmm. I'll get that in a minute. Not much on the nose there from the. Yes, looking good, looking good. Larceny Barrel Proof. So there's a story that John Fitzgerald, who I believe Old Fitz might be named after, John Fitzgerald back in the late 1700s, early 1800s, um, worked for the U.S. Treasury. And because of his position, he had a key to the Rick Houses. And the story went that he used to go into the Rick houses and he used to smuggle some of the bourbon out for his um, private collection. So they made this John E. Fitzgerald Larceny bourbon in honor of him. And in honor of you, I am going to try this thing. Again, I love this. This comes out three times a year. You have the A for the first of the year. You have the B, second of the year, around the middle of the month. Then you have the C, which is normally at the end of the month, at the end of the season. Uh, but again, I just picked it up, and it's uh, middle of July, so C will be around September most likely. And these are kind of hard to get because the cases only hold three bottles. So if your liquor store gets one case, it's only three bottles. Um, so I got lucky. My my liquor store uh, had one. They got a case. They had one left, and I picked it up. Let's see what we got here. The 
This doesn't nearly have the nose of the A121. The A121, as soon as you smelled it, it was like custard. It was so good. This is almost like dry. It's peanuts. It almost smells like a Booker's bourbon. Dry, viscous, oily, peanuts. Almost like um, caramel popcorn. Not exciting, not a very exciting nose compared to A121 at all. All right, let's go in for the mouth. Mm. Spicy on the back of the throat, almost like sugar and peanuts. Long hug, long hug. Now, I was hoping that this, man, I, I, I really love the Larceny line. Anytime I see one, I jump on it because even, even if I had a choice of, of to choose other things, I mean, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is my go-to if I can find it, but Larceny is, is a close second, so I, I love anytime I get a chance to get a Larceny. I was super impressed with the A121 uh, after B520 got Whiskey of the Year. But this, I'm not so excited about. I mean, it's good. It's a good bourbon. Absolutely, it's a good bourbon. <clears throat> I, I'm just wondering if that 114 is my sweet spot. Because this is 121. Again, I get the ethanol in the nose. Maybe, maybe if we let this open up for a while... <clears throat> Oh, I need to get my water bottle or my water dropper. Stay tuned. So I got my water dropper. We'll put some water in here. Maybe bring down this proof a little bit from 121. Maybe we can bring it down to about 115. See what we get. It's pretty hot. I get like peanut brittle. All right, so we're gonna go, see that? Get all that in there. Get all that in there. Let's see if we can bring down the proof a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because my favorite I don't have much left of my favorite. I'm gonna have to put this one away. And I'm gonna have to put this one away so I can do a, a side by side by side blind taste test. Yeah, this 521 is just too hot for me. To enjoy, like as much as I love the A121, I mean, I love that stuff. It is so good. You can just sit on the couch and just sip it. And it's like, it's like uh, a cream, corn, custard. It's so good. So good. All right, let's try this after some water. The nose really didn't even change much. Man, I'm kind of disappointed, actually. Mmm. There it is. It, there it is. It's... That creamy mouth feels back. Let me let me get a little more. That reminded me a little of that A121. Creamy. Alright, so this is definitely we're definitely gonna bring that down. Let's get that nice and acclimated. Again, in Ohio, this is a $49.99 bottle. They come out three times a year. If you see one, 
if you see the A121, I'd be willing to pay as much as like 80 bucks for it. It's super, it's one of the best bourbons I've ever had. This one, if I can't bring this down to where I like it, I wouldn't I wouldn't pay 50 bucks for it. I mean, after having that A121, it's it's kind of hard to even compare. Let's see what we got. So the nose opens up a lot more now. And I'm starting to get the the A121 sins. I'm starting to get the custard. Oh yeah, much much pleasant no much more pleasant nose. Still a little ethanol. Still peanuts, but I'm getting that slight custard that I really liked in the first one. The last one I tried. Alright, let's down the hatch. It's still hot, still hot, but I'm bringing it down a little bit. This one might be enjoyed with an ice cube, maybe, to bring down the proof. Take a little, take some of the spice off, take some of the, the heat off of it. Mmm, it's so so. Um, I've had better. I've had better, but again, it's a good bourbon. It's a good bourbon, but and if you if you haven't had that A121, you might really like it. Um, but 121 proof is pretty high to just be a sipper. I think that 110 to 114 proof is is my sweet spot. And part of this journey, part of this my bourbon collection uh, journey, is determining what we like as you know bourbon drinkers. What proofs do we like? What mash bills do we like what brands do we like you know what distilleries do we like all those type of things finding the bourbon that you like the best everyone has a different palette some people might love this absolutely i'm a big larceny fan this is not going to deter me if i see a c521 or a c921 i'm going to buy it anytime i see larceny i buy it it's 50 bucks it's a good bourbon you know, I, I could bring some of this proof down. I'm sure that, that we can bring it down to a, a much more pleasant drinking experience. But for what it's worth, I'm excited. Advocate, whiskey advocate, whiskey of the year, last year, B520. Let's see what the reviews of this one come out as. And I, I like A121 far and away better. I would say if, if A121 was a 10, out of 10, this is probably six. Six out of 10 compared to that. Um, but this is probably middle of the road compared comparatively. All right, fam, I appreciate you coming to the lounge. This has been your boy, Brad Starks. Make sure you subscribe, like it, get that algorithm going for YouTube so other people can find this. Till next time, this has been the Roto Lounge. Cheers.